to nicely our act of worship, let's remind ourselves that we are in God's presence by making the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This week's theme is Pentecost. Pentecost is a festival celebrating descent of the Holy Spirit on the disciples of Jesus. What does Pentecost mean to you? How did Pentecost influence you through the Easter? How will you show Pentecost through your daily lives? We are now going to hear a piece of scripture, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Last of all, Jesus appeared to the eleven disciples as they were eating. He scolded them because they did not have faith and because they were too stubborn to believe those who had seen him alive. He said to them, go throughout the whole world and preach the gospel to all people. Whoever believes and is baptised will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. Believers will be given the power to perform miracles. They will drive out demons in my name. They will speak in strange tongues. If they pick up snakes or drink any poison, they will not be harmed. They will place their hands on sick people and these will get well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What stands out to you from the Gospel? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Your mission this week is to spread the good word. Tell one of your friends a positive experience you've had this week.